I'll reverse the order because it'll be, I think it just might work better. Shock doctrine analysis. I have the highest respect for Naomi Klein as a journalist, and I just read her amazing book, The Shock Doctrine, and you should be proud that she's a Canadian. And uh, uh, I think that uh, basically the premise of that book, for those who haven't read it and those that haven't read it, I, I cannot recommend it highly enough. It's critical for understanding what, what's happening in the world today. Um, but the basic premise is that uh, when catastrophic situations occur, be they Katrina, Hurricane Katrina's or earthquakes, or invasions and occupations um, when the people are in a state of shock, uh, and this is all based on studying human beings, CIA, uh, what the CIA did to develop their torture techniques of things that you do to people to basically put them in a state where they're kind of deer in the headlights, okay, this huge catastrophe happened, what am I going to do right now when there's that pause? And that's the moment that you go in and basically do what you're going to do to them. And she's talking about basically economic shock therapy when, like, that was the plan for Iraq. And it's, it's, it's indisputable. There's, there's incredible amounts of evidence to document that the, the neoliberal plan, they didn't plan for what we're going to do uh, with Iraq's water systems and electrical systems and all of this. But they did have a very well thought out plan that took the form of the 100 Brimmer orders under the CPA. But they were going to come in and do a shock uh, introduction of neoliberal, uh, neoliberalism to Iraq's economy. 15% uh, flat corporate tax across the board. No tariffs. All foreign imports can come in. No checks whatsoever. We're not going to do any study. Anyone can import anything you want into our country if it's unhealthy for people, if it's dangerous, if it doesn't work. Doesn't matter. Bring it in. Just come on. We're gonna. This is gonna be a free market wet dream. Is what what this is gonna be. And that's exactly what they did. And it completely eviscerated Iraq's economy. That I would argue today would take decades for it to get back on something like its own feet. So I com I very much agree with her analysis. And, and I think that when we look at Katrina, look at look at New Orleans today after Katrina. We have another classic example in the U.S.'s own backyard of of uh, they you know. Basically, people are being forced out of their homes in the poor parts of the city, and they're going. They're basically condemning these areas, not letting people back in, and they're going to turn them into high-rise, very expensive condos. This kind of thing. I mean, we look across the globe, and she does an excellent job of that in her book of showing across the globe through the decades where you know they've taken Mil Milton Friedman from the Chicago School and applied his policy across the globe. And in Iraq and New Orleans are just the two most recent examples. And then the last question, where do I go? Where am I going next? Uh, I, I am definitely keen to do another book. I'm definitely keen to be, have it be related to what's going on in Iraq. So I'm uh, on the cusp of uh, trying to write up a book proposal uh, to do that. I'm going to continue writing from uh, the Middle East because I actually feel really fortunate that um, you know, you also ask, well, what do I do to like, how do I do this and not become like addicted to drugs or a raging alcoholic or something? And, and um, it's, it's, I actually feel, I get a lot of relief because I have this thing that I can do. And I think taking action at a time like this, this dark time for not just the world, especially for the U.S., but, but the entire world is also, um, uh, that taking action is key. Uh, to, to just getting out there, getting involved, getting active, and, and having this work that I can do and continue to do on a daily basis. I actually feel like I have it a little bit easier than people here that can't figure out what to do yet or, or, or something like that. And so the thought I would leave you with is, is what is that thing that you really care about, whether it's the occupation of Iraq or climate change or you know what's what's happening with the tar sand, whatever it might be, is find that thing that you really care about and go start taking action towards protecting it.